G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to the not so cold waters of the South China Sea or at least not so cold in comparison to the North Atlantic where we've been in the last playthrough. So yes I did say I was done with the cold waters videos on the channel but you guys have kept asking and my intention was to actually do a, a live playthrough on stream but uh, Aussie internet COVID internet happened and I still haven't managed to sort my way around that so stuff it you guys keep asking so let's do another campaign it has been a while since the last one so i'm actually kind of looking forward to this one so we are using the playable subs mod this time and this is one of the mod campaigns or one of the campaigns that comes with the mod rather this is the russian version of the south china sea campaign so the basic story here is china is going to war and in the process they managed to annoy russia enough that russia sent some of their subs over to work with nato to put a stop a stop to them and we're playing one of those russian subs so for this campaign we're bringing out the victor 3 now the victor 3 is the final variant of the victor class nuclear attack submarine the victor 3s were in production from 1979 to 1991 they're still in service today they're roughly the equivalent of an early block us los angeles class 688 attack submarine so they're not the newest girls on the block especially for this campaign which takes place in 2000 the last time i did this campaign on channel we are actually using the seawolf but it's not an old girl either or at least you know in comparison to some of the other hardware available in the game so anyways today's mission it's only a small one to begin with nothing too important uh china is just launching a full-scale invasion of taiwan and we have been sent to intercept and destroy all of it on our own so nothing too major here to to begin our campaign with so anyways ladies and gents i hope we enjoy Con Sonar One. Master 2 is classified as Escort. 2 3 Alright, that's enough. Down scope. Alright, so that's gives us confirmation on a couple of targets new contact bearing three one there is a lot of these guys all right so what is there nearly 40 negative 50 bearing three two nine jesus there's a lot of these guys all right surface running on all torpedoes we got four wires that we can use. This is why I've actually got this configuration down here. Four torpedoes, four wires on the Victor, on the Victor three, and then the extra two tubes carrying uh, anti-ship missiles because no need for guidance on those. Um, so we're going to get those. Shoot two one, aye sir. Shoot two two, two aye away. sir. Shoot two four, aye sir. With this Shoot many ships, five. I want all four aye, torpedoes sir. in the water. Once they're clear, I'm going to keep five knots. I'll turn these off this way. And I want to send these more north and cut them in. Con, fire control, unable to fire. Oh, wrong button. Didn't mean to do that. Con, fire control, unable to fire. That's, uh, never mind. Alright, so let's have a look at what we've got. It's 175 decibel in the water. What is our surface conditions? 95. And it's currently at... 15 knots, so it's not going to be able to hear particularly well, and it's noisy. So it's also probably going to deafen out the, uh, the Yuting here. Which is good, because it's a target. It's 195 decibels. The Qing Sha is also a target, so that is a, like, a primary. The Zheng Wei is a, uh, that's probably our greatest threat. It's actually tempting 
once these torpedoes go in, to hit the Zhang up here with our anti-ship missiles. Just to get it out of the fight as quickly as possible. That thing's got, um, like, mortar launch depth charges and, uh, to, uh, rocket propelled or rocket launch torpedoes and a whole bunch of other fun toys that I would rather not have to deal with. Especially not when we only got, what's our depth here? We've only got 400 feet of water. So it's not what I would prefer to play with, and it looks like 9... Well, that's going to be a Poncha. 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 Merchant. Think. M7. God, I'd be tempted to pop up the, uh... You know, keep them going. Got plenty of time on these torps, I think. Yeah, 13 minutes. Sonar lost contact. Master six. Last bearing three. Three. One. Contact faded. Sierra three. Oh, sorry. S eight rather. Sierra eight. It's looking like Con it's the sonar. same thing. Sierra eight is classified as merchant. M seven is not okay. So M seven needs redesignation. Or M seven needs a designation. That Sonar. looks pretty Master close. Seven is so another escort. escort. And we don't have a signal for Master 6 yet. Or Sierra 4. Yeah, heavy fog on the surface, so we didn't pick up much. I could... It's tempting to pop a mast again, but that's definitely going to give away our, uh, our location if we make a second attack, uh, a second attempt on this. So we're let time contact on Master accelerate six, just a three, moment. Three, one. All right, time to start turning these torpedoes in and these torpedoes north. Con sonar regained contact on Master two bearing two nine nine. Con sonar regained contact on master seven bearing three zero right, four. So torpedo one is going to go active. Con fire control weapon acquired. Now the fun begins. Now as each of these torpedoes goes active, as for those of you who have seen this before, should we check one of them out? The, uh, the torpedoes go to active homing and they accelerate. It's the reason for leaving them on wire control for so long and not actually having them activated, although they're still under wire control, but not having them go active is while they are slower in that state, they're also much quieter, so I can get them away from the submarine. The second they go active, they accelerate. They go to a high speed setting and they start pinging and doing all the things that you want them to do. So now... Now people start having very bad days. Now two hasn't activated yet. I'm tempted. Yes, I, th I know. Keep you going there. We'll spin four off. Con fire control weapon acquired. Because that's an escort, and it's close enough to give us a headache. Two, I'm going to activate, but I want two to activate away. One's on the Shengdu. We've already got torpedoes launched. Yep, it's dumping torpedoes everywhere. It knows it's... That is one panicked escort there. You still are going to go hunting that way. Although one of those is actually going to give us a problem. We need to be out of that one's way. That thing just panicked. Noisemaker bearing three, three, two. Yep, we've lost it. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Oh, 
five has acquired. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Actually, maybe not. That's going to go more this way. So, providing. Con, sonar lost contact. Boom. Master two, last bearing two, eight, four, contact. Providing we change up. course here soon enough, that torpedo shouldn't actually bother us at all. So, that's one of the escorts down. Two still closing in. Console. Master Noise one here is maneuvering hard. Three, three, one. We'll give it a little bit of help. Con, fire Manual control, Y control fire. back onto target. Con, fire control. Con, sonar lost Boom. contact. Master one. Last bearing three, three. Zero. Contact breaking up. Two escorts down, and that one was one of the helicopter platforms, which is going to make life a hell of a lot easier. Now, I think five and two here. I'm going to quickly plot course. Hopefully we won't bust right a wire here. Zero, zero, seven, helm, I. I think five and two we take them over to active nope yeah they're both locked onto the same target they're locked on to M3 which is actually quite big this is a quite big landing craft I'm not entirely sure one torpedo will take this one down on its own so that's okay we'll let torpedo 5 go in first because there's no way known this thing is avoiding this. Lost contact. Master. Con. Sonar. Lost contact. Yep. Master. Okay, that three, was enough. Last bearing. Three. One. Two. Contact nice. breaking up. All right. So we will now reload that tube now, and we'll adjust two out. We'll see if we can pick up Sierra Call, Eight. Room, tube one ready. No. I want to find Sierra Eight. No point putting two torpedoes into a target that doesn't need them. Now at this point, I want to confirm targets. We know we have one escort up here with M7, but it's fairly far away. So let's mast. pop the radar mast. So radar mast is Con up. Let's find out where everybody's at. Is classified as escort. Lower All right, radar, radar down. So eight is only here. Con, Best room, bet, four ready. let's send our torpedo. Con, helm, steady course. Since the destroyer is going to be coming this direction now. And we'll actually send anti-ship missiles after the, uh, after the targets here. So let's see if we can do the launch so we can actually see them from here. One away. Shoot, shoot, six. Aye, sir. Might have to resupply these. It's nice to actually have a uh, have a sub that actually has anti-ship missiles available again. Alright, so two is on target. I don't mind wasting these on this particular one. This is a this is a fairly important mission straight off the bat, preventing the invasion of Taiwan, so. Oh, and that is Con, the missile room, defenses. I think. Have we just turned on to acquire? We did. Con sonar lost contact. Master four. Last bearing three. Whoa. Two, okay. Contact Change course up. on two. I have a funny feeling both of our ships, uh, both of our missiles, then turned on and ended up going for M7. 
which is not exactly what I had in mind. Damn, it got hit hard. Alright, so that's M7 out. Six, nine, five, and eight are our next remaining targets, so let's do another radar check. At this point, I think we can leave the radar up because that should be all the escorts eliminated. Yep. Alright, so torpedo two, we need more in the water. Oh, they're going to take a long time to catch up. We have how many remaining weapons? Two in the tubes and two remaining. Okay. Let's go for the long shots first. Shoot two, three. Aye, sir. And... M6 Cheng Du. Shoot two, seven. Up there. Aye, sir. Shoot two, one. Aye, sir. And tube one is away. And we'll take control of tube two. I don't think we're going to make it in time. R10 is not a target, so we need to go past R10. This torpedo only has a minute left, and I'm not sure if it's going to catch M8 in sufficient time. No, it detonated early. Loss of torpedo. That is a long shot now. But we have to navigate around small cargo ship. We might have to actually chase that one down a little bit. Con sonar lost contact. Master Impact. Nine. Last Master bearing. 9 gone. Three, three, and contact and there we go. So Master 9 and Master 6 eliminated. We have 5 torpedo heading in for Master 5. Yeah, I think it's going to take too long to track down eight. Con, torpedo room, tube two ready. I probably should have, uh, once the torpedoes were out, actually gone to flank and started charging in on this. Oh well, what's done's done. We'll wait till the uh, the last anti-ship missile's loaded up and we'll use that to finish off M8 over here as it's running away. Because it's range, current range, yeah, 17 kilo yards. 17 kilo yards. It's actually getting close to the maximum range of our Con, torpedoes. Torpedo room, tube three ready. Alright, so we'll deal with this one first. It's running straight away from us as well, which would make things more difficult. Two, two, three. Aye, sir. So pretty sure I saw. Oh! And now the fun begins. Me. Radar in. Looks Me, like they sir. did get a helicopter three, in after all. Zero. On sonar, we are cavitating. Reloading Moss. Con fire control with Con sonar. Lost, lost the wire. Contact. Master five passing 100 feet. Oh, we've only got Con 400 sonar. feet to play Torpedo with here. Water. Torpedo in the water. Bearing one, eight, six. Yep, sonar six. I was pretty damn sure we got rid of them before they got any aircraft up. Alright, give us a knuckle. Con, knuckle formed. Con, sonar, oh, lost no. contact. Master, eight, last bearing, three, one, two, contact breaking up. 
Alright, torpedo picked up the knuckle and disengaged. Second torpedo is on, holding 30 knots, which is flank speed for the Victor 3. I can only hope that torpedo is actually going to hit. Con, sonar, torpedo in the water, torpedo in the water, bearing, one, nine, zero. Alright, fine, decoy up. Con, maneuvering, making turns for three, zero, knots. Con, knuckle formed. I'm going to have to moss these God, things, I swear. Formed. Come on. Con, torpedo room. Con, knuckle formed. Knuckles out. Make Full reverse. Zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Con, Speed. Come on, no come on, 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 come on. Moss away. Make turns. Make turns for con sonar. We are cavitating. Make turns for one five. Con sonar. No longer cavitating. Con oh. sonar. We are cavitating. Con sonar. Lost contact. Sierra. One. One. Last. Con maneuvering. Making turns for one. All right. Make accelerate now because three, that moss is zero, only going to throw five, them off for a moment. I. Then they'll come back to us, and then I'm going to have to drop them again, toss them back at the moss, uh, at the moss, and hope that that's enough. There we go. They've passed the moss. Straighten up. They will acquire me. This one's going to come back around and reacquire. Yep, torpedo is already reacquired. Con, knuckle formed. Torpedo on search pattern. Both have reacquired again. I'm actually worried that I might have turned too aggressively, gotten too far away from the moss here. Hold the turn into the Can torpedoes and counter mission deployed. Zero knots. First one's taken the bait. We're going to charge back after the moss now because they need to make sure because they will acquire again once they get past the countermeasure. So I can toss them back at the moss and they'll chase it again. And providing providing they actually take the moss and I turn off once they do it again, the moss will actually be far enough away this time that uh, they won't reacquire this submarine. So it's got to juggle them a little bit. Alright, so there we go. They've made the turns off the countermeasure. Annoying pissant helicopter is above our head still. Oh, first one's already self-destructed. Okay. Real short life torpedoes on these. Really short detection cones on these ones as well. That one didn't reacquire me despite the fact that I'm at flank. Okay, that's significantly shorter than I was expecting. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Well, in that case. Con sonar, no longer cavitating. Let's just go to 10 and Come set a course this two, way. Three, two, eight, helm I. 
Yep, torpedo has... No, nope, torpedo's reacquired. So now it reacquired. The second I slow down and go quiet, all of a sudden, oh, no, no, we can see you now. But judging right from the lifespan zero, of these... Zero, two, helm, I. Yep, there we go. Alright. Yeah, it didn't Come last. Left two, three, three, zero, helm, I. Alright, weapons. We've only got the one S10 remaining in the tube. I want to make sure we get this last ship. I don't think our torpedo is hit. I'd like to know what S11 is. S11's new. Yeah, it's new. Alright, so I'm going to use a little bit of time acceleration here. We're going to move ourselves a little bit away from where this bloody helicopter is. Making turns for three, zero, knots. God, it's shallow here. Alright, so let's go back to... Bring us back Make to 5 sonar. knots and bring no us back to periscope depth. We'll see if we can acquire M5 to get a shot on it. And once we're done, we can exit this area. So this is a hell of a lot. We're 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 so far. We're looking for our ninth kill. Just to make sure we've completely cleaned out the invasion fleet. We might actually have to go back and grab resupplies after this because we've blown all of our anti-ship missiles. But, uh... Still, this is a lot of tonnage straight off the bat. Con sonar regained contact on Master 5, bearing 3, 3, 2. Yeah, well, we'll Off find course. out about that. Con maneuvering, making turns for 5 knots. Con, fire control, unable to fire. So that is 332. Yeah, no visual on periscope. Down scope. Raise the radar mast. Radar up. Confirmed, M5. No contact, Lower S11. Shoot two six. Aye, sir. Missile away. And Come left to two six seven. Helm I. Set depth two hundred. Speed Make fifteen. Con sonar. We are cavitating. All right, fine. Speed ten then. Make turns for nine knots, maneuvering eye. Listen till we get down a little bit. Con sonar, no longer cavitating. Here comes the helicopter. And it's gonna drop a dipping sonar in. Con sonar lost contact. Rig ship for ultra quiet. There it is there, there's the dipping sonar in the water. Con sonar lost contact. Master 5, last bearing 3, 3, Dracon, helm, steady right, There we go. Con sonar regained contact on Master 1, 0, bearing 2, 6. Alright, so I just searched around for about 10 or 15 minutes to see whether or not I could actually find a submarine contact, but nothing popped up, and we're not getting anything on the response here either. So, good collection of targets down, we used all six of our anti-ship missiles, 
We're down to 11 USAT 80s remaining. We still have two rocket launched SSN 16s and we have three MOSs remaining. So we don't necessarily have to run back for resupply straight away, but I would like to have the the anti-ship missiles available again soon. No systems damage on this one, so that should be a mission successful. Yep, great job. Pleased to hear you the expectation of... I can't pronounce that. Taiwan has been repelled. Await further orders. Excellent. All right, ladies and gents, so that brings that engagement to a close. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you very much for watching. Cold Waters will be returning to the channel very soon, and until next time, remember to click that like button if you did, share and subscribe if you want to see more, and as always, take care.